Join us in a little while. I'm going to have some Festival Nights action coming up for you down here on the red carpet. Matt and Val, I know you guys are having fun. Let's keep it going. Thanks, Scott. I'm pleased to be joined live in studio now by writer, producer, and star of A Bug and a Bag of Wheat, Chris Cuthbertson. And Chris, welcome to East Link All Access Pass. Hey, Matt. Thanks for having me. Chris, tell us a little bit about your movie. Well, it's called A Bug and a Bag of Weed, and it's about um, three computer store salesmen, mm -hmm. and they're all heavily in debt. And um, they're just in their early 30s, and they're finally about to experience some growth, and they haven't had growth in a long time. So um, what happens is a friend that they haven't seen since high school um, shows back up in Halifax mm -hmm. from British Columbia, where he's been tree planting, and uh, he causes a lot of craziness and everything, and he takes these guys out partying like they haven't partied since <laughs> they were teenagers. And uh, when he leaves town, he leaves them with this, through strange circumstances, this hockey bag stuffed mm -hmm. full of marijuana. And that's the catalyst that kind of gets okay. our story moving. So it's a fish out of water story. <laughs> now, you wrote this movie as well. Take us through the writing process. How does that happen for you? Um, well, I, I, I first came up with the idea of this, if you can believe it, 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's taken this long to actually get it made. And in the last five years, I, I joined together with some mm -hmm. really talented other filmmakers. Um, and we created our own little company called After Dark Productions. And the names are Drew Haig and Michael Mason and Nico Lorenzuti. And um, we really focused on this project. And we moved up from Vancouver to Halifax. And um, we did everything to make this project. We focused our lives on it. And now finally, throughout the chain of events, we actually have it made. And we're going to all go see it tomorrow night. Chris, uh, how important is a festival like this to, I don't want to say small time movie producers or writers, but when you're trying to get a movie made, you know, you can get it screened at a festival like this, how important is it for guys like you? Oh, it's ex extremely important and we are so happy and excited that the Atlantic Film Festival was willing to, to place our film in their schedule and everything and we've just been having a great roller coaster ride for the last couple of weeks and we've been busy running around making posters, um, putting up a new website for the film and um, everything that's involved and it's been very exciting and doing all these interviews with you and everybody else <laughs> and stuff and just having a whole lot of fun with it and the whole community well even when we made the film everyone's really supported us mm -hmm. and really helped us out and cut us some really good deals to do everything we had to do because it's it's a low budget film and it, it's it's under half a million dollars mm -hmm. and, and and even under those circumstances none of us got paid exactly. so that shows you how mm -hmm. fast the money goes so it's a very exciting opportunity and the Atlantic Film Festival with all the exposure it's the sort of thing that can give a film like this a lot of life Excellent. Yeah. Chris, we're going to take a look at a clip here now. Sure. Why don't you set this up for us? What are we going to see? Perfect. We're going to see a scene from the movie. I play uh, one of the computer store salesmen mm -hmm. named Peter Jordan, and um, <clears throat> he hasn't seen his uh, high school love mm -hmm. for almost 15 years. And the branch of the computer store that my character works in, there's mm -hmm. another branch in Bears Lake. It all mm -hmm. takes place in, <laughs> in Nova Scotia. Um, that store closes down under mysterious circumstances. And... Um, Amanda, who's played by Laura Cahoot, mm -hmm. she actually starts and comes to the store where Peter Jordan's working. So that's the clip we're going to watch when they have their very first interaction after 15 years. And there's a little bit of a flashback to a scene that happened at a variety show a long time ago. So, okay. Chris, we thank you for coming in. Stay thank with you. us on the back side of this clip. We're going to have another guest from A Bug in the Bag a week. But right now, let's take a look at the clip. Hi there. Amanda. Amanda. Hi. How much have you sold today? Sold? I've sold one computer and I have... Two more going out this afternoon. I have a customer coming back. I gave out three business cards. I was just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> this is so great. The old gang all back together again. Hi, Ramel. So, I hear that Stan and Willie had quite the night at your place the other night. Just like old times, huh? Yeah, kind of. So, um, I, I really like the sandwich shop up the street. The sandwiches are the best. Have you been there? Yeah, sandwiches are good. They use all different, uh, kinds of... This song's for you, Amanda Meyerson. Bread. Bread, and the stuff that they put in the uh, middle of, uh... Br bread. Bread, bread, yeah, yeah, whatever you like. Like, whatever you like. Yeah. Sandwiches. So do we have a lunch date or what? Yeah, that would be great. Tuesday. Ooh, this bread's for you, Amanda Meyerson. <laughs> <laughs> and we're pleased to be joined in studio now by Amy Kerr, another member of the cast of A Bug and a Bag of Wheat. Amy, welcome to East Lake Alexis Pass. Thank you for having me. Amy, tell us a little bit about your character and, and what happens in the movie. Well, my name is, my character's name is Mandy, and she actually plays a stripper. <laughs> and uh, the guys kind of go to a bar one night, and they meet her, and she kind of stirs up a little bit of trouble, kind of brings out new emotions, because as um, 
Chris had mentioned before, Peter's kind of like rekindling with his ex-love, but then this girl comes in and kind of plays around with him and, you know, kind of creates a little bit of controversy. So it's good. Amy, you're from Halifax and you've done a lot of productions. I remember you were in the Martha Stewart movie. You played yes. her movie. So that's a big, you know, made-for-TV movie. Yeah. What's the experience like working on a production like that and then working maybe on a little bit smaller production like this? Um, well, um, the Martha Stewart movie was a movie of the week, and they move a little bit quicker. They have a little, that was about maybe a 20-day shoot versus a bug in a bag is a little bit longer shoot. Um, it's maybe, I want to say a little bit more faster pace, like on the movie of the week, mm -hmm. trying to get things done in rush, like a lot of things got cut, and mm -hmm. they're just like rushing through to get it all done. Um, but all in all, like it's, you know, set to set, it's all mm -hmm. quite the same, and just, you know, it's really good. Cool, and we're going to take a look at a little bit of Amy's work right now from a bug and a bag of weed. Roll clip. Amy, a lot of buzz about this movie at this year's festival. People who want to see it, where can they go and what time? Oh, Park Lane at 9.20. However, um, it's sold out. So those <laughs> people that don't have tickets, I'm sorry. You'll have to wait till it comes out in theaters or, you know, TV. <laughs> Final question for you, Amy. Yes? You're from this area. How important is the Atlantic Film Festival to people like yourself? Oh, I think it's very important. It's just a wonderful way to showcase local talent because a lot of things are made here and not a lot of people get to see some things. So this is just such a wonderful opportunity uh, just to showcase the talent that we really do have here. Amy, thanks for coming in and best of luck tomorrow night Thank at the you. big screening. Thank you so much.